I work with cities. Why? Uh, the main reason is because the cities, cities really are the future and also the present. You see the majority of the world's population living in cities today. You also see cities as having the concentration of power and wealth. And they're also on the front lines of you know, dealing with many of the world's most pressing problems, including climate change, urban violence, extreme poverty, where it's concentrated in cities, migration. And so cities are an entry point, not only to deal with some of these problems, but also solutions. They have lots of levers. We have excellent examples of sitting, cities dealing with some of these many problems. One is Medellin, which, you know, about two decades ago, had some of the highest homicide rates in the world. What they did was to connect people physically to these spaces, build soccer stadiums in the poorest neighborhoods, to help them feel part of society, to help them get to work easier. You know, it's this kind of outside of the box thinking that we need to deal with some of these problems. In the wake of Hurricane Katrina and also Sandy in New York, to see how New York faced and really looked at its own, you know, limitations to deal with that is another telling example. To deal with uh, the WIS and the pressing problems of the world today, an integrated solution is absolutely essential. What does that mean? That means bringing together multiple actors from the private sector, public sector, but it also means bringing together different specialists. Work with healthcare providers, security providers, urban planners, climate change experts. These solutions we all face together and we need to come up with modern ways to deal with these problems together. I think the barriers are that none of these, these issues are straightforward, right? An environmental issue, whether it be flood, flood, you know, uh, extreme flooding, droughts, these oftentimes are, are due to climate related issues, but they're exacerbated due to political considerations, right? And so unless you, you look at these two factors jointly, it's very difficult to solve these problems. And so here, this is why we need a collective approach to dealing with these challenges.